Hello guys, this is Raul one more time bringing you another video. Um, this time as you may have uh, uh, realized I changed devices. I went from the Galaxy S2 to the Galaxy Nexus. And one of the main things that I do, one of the first things that I do is root it. This time thanks to Mskip uh, in EXDA developers we actually have a uh, toolkit and this time I'm going to be using the version 3.0 this toolkit uh, works for uh, 3. Point, uh, I'm sorry this toolkit works for uh, the GSM and the LTE versions now there are some basic things that you need to do and the, the first thing that you need to have is actually a Windows operating system so right now as you can see I'm running on Mac but in order to fix that issue what I'll be doing is um, I'll be uh, using Parallels so let's go ahead and load Parallels there's basically four things that you are gonna be needing uh, PDA Net you're gonna need the, of course the Galaxy Nexus toolkit you're gonna need the, um, uh, I, I like wiping everything so uh, Mscape actually did a really nice um, wiper so it's a white light and then of course you can pick one of the ROMs in my case right now I chose the most popular ones will be Android Revolution HD um, we will be going in depth of the ROM itself later on however this video is more for the rooting purposes so let's start the first thing that we need to do we need to install PDA net this way the drivers get installed in your phone it can recognize for you LTE guys this will help you uh, unlock your bootloader uh, for me I'm already unlocked but it will help me install CWM so let's go ahead and install this remember when installing this to have your device disconnected and plugged from the USB cable uh, let it do its thing then um, then it will guide you over it so it says on the phone go to settings and then you actually try to turn on the USB debugging area on the phone I already have it but let me show it to you you're going to go downstairs to the developer options and you just be sure to have it clicked then now what we're going to do is connect the device to the USB cable device get connected and now um, it's gonna pop up the of course the um, new bit wizard and we are going to put the install software automatically so now that the drivers are installed we're going to go ahead and uh, shut the phone down so now that the PDA drivers are installed what we're going to try to do is put the phone into smooth mode guys so in order to do that you gotta keep the volume up and down together and then press power so you're gonna press between both buttons and then the power button and there you go we are on fast boot mode now we want to be sure that uh, that everything is ins installed and then and be sure that your driver is installed what we're gonna do is re-plug it in we're gonna go ahead and you're gonna select your Android your menu I just got an update and I am Jagju and it will be uh, choosing number three because I pulled the latest update so let's go ahead and select that on the second part you can see um, you can get the LTE version for it on 0 .0, I'm sorry uh, 4.0.1 or 4.0.2 again in my case I'm on the GSM model so we're gonna choose number three and press enter so it caught my 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 serial number and now it's gonna give me all the options that I can do so in my case I'm gonna want I'm gonna go ahead and, and press number five which is the one click for all I just want to do everything at one time so we don't need to go back on that so let's go ahead and select number five it's going to erase everything on my phone everything on the internal data that's just to be sure to uh, back up everything your text your pictures and all that now it's unlocking the bootloader as you can see on my phone look right over here it is uh, giving me the option if you unlock you're able to install custom ROM and all the disclosure so let's go ahead it may be warranty in my case I have nobody's warranty except of Google so let's go ahead and type and press yes we're gonna navigate with the buttons on the side and then the power button is gonna be our enter key so let's go and unlock the bootloader now we have the symbol over here if you can see it has the little uh, lock it's unlocked now here you go guys so now um, the screen is showing me the welcome screen we are being uh, reset remember uh, we're gonna go ahead and complete the setup and then we're going to enable again USB debugging please do not proceed before completing this because it will just mess up follow the instructions uh, these guys have so much experience on it we don't want to ruin it because you want to skip so let's go ahead and set up to my internet 
Now that we finished the setup, um, just you gotta be sure to activate. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and activate um, USB debugging. Do not proceed before activating it. So on the application, just gonna go ahead and press enter. Loading the secure boot image. Everything clicked OK. Phone is resetting one more time. Now remember, before you're going to do all this, be sure to have everything that is needed as I told you. Uh, you can find all this information at XDA Developer. This, those guys are absolutely amazing and those are where I get my, a lot of my information and I post a lot of my reviews. So uh, be sure to visit him and props to Mskin for creating this and his team and also to all the developers out there. I am not taking any credit on this. I am just uh, documenting how to do this for the, for the noobs and the, and the guys that uh, have problems not visualizing it like myself. So we have, um, the screen is telling us that the root is actually completed. They are renaming the recovery file and it's actually gonna install a clockwork mode. You know guys, two, two, two basic things to have clockwork mode. Without clockwork, you, you pretty much cannot do anything. So, really nice messages. Congratulations, you hacked it. I didn't do anything. I just went it through. Thank you guys. You did the hack.